what up guys prince fpv here back at you with a video i'm going to show you uh, some printers i got here but exclusively they're both form bot printers Get the raptor 2 which is great for tpu um, amazing for tpu just prints and then we got the form bat um chordon i think it's called or tordon um anyways it's a core xyz um it's got a 32-bit board in it, uh, Wi-Fi, wi I'm not sure if it's a duet board or not. It's fully enclosed, it's got a lid, some handles on top. We got the magnetic um, PTF sheet, which is pretty nice. I guess you could use both sides of this, I don't know, if you want to print on metal. Um, and it's magnetic, so that's a nice little feature. Can't say uh, I don't like that. As it's easier to get prints off for sure. Pain in the ass to line up the bed. It just wants to stick. But um, look at those fans. Like look at those fans on this bad boy. Look at that. Dual blower fans. It is a Bowden tube. I know it's not like me to have a Bowden tube. But when I show you it's also got filtration. Which I'm going to install. Show you guys how to do that. It's actually pretty simple to set up. I didn't see much online on how to do it. I just... It's pretty pretty simple, pretty much common sense. I'm gonna probably still run it off a of Raspberry Pi, but you got some cables that are gonna have to come out this hole here. Do that right away, get all three of them out. Um, yeah, but I mean, you can, you can, it's got a keyboard on the screen where you can punch in commands and stuff. So that's pretty wild. There's some drones for you guys. Da, da, da. Gotta love those drones. Um, let's see what's inside the box here. <laughs> Not really much you gotta worry about, but we got, um, they give you an SD card, obviously with no instructions on it. Some screws for your fan. Um, a spool holder, really easy to put on. Uh, then you get your fan system. Well, let's see, we got your tools. Comes with a pen for the touch screen, it's pretty nice. Um, also, uh, comes with um, this nice hefty filtered fan. And, uh, it's got a, some type of HEPA filter type thing in there. And you got your power cable. Your um, this oh, this is what really got me. It's uh, like a Bontech extruder. I guess you can say it's a clone, but if you look at it, I mean this thing's gonna print awesome for sure. Um, no complaints with these. I bet you I get this thing printing TPU. I'll put money on it. Even with that uh, big long Bowden tube, I think I can get it to print TPU. If not, I'm not. Uh, completely offended but no problem i bet you it will you get your filament runout sensor oh by the way guys this printer is fucking amazing if you get a power outage your printer will remember where you were last at so no more losing prints or having to mess around in slicers to try and restart them and stuff that's another added bonus here's your handles for the top so it's not much assembly at all guys not much assembly at all well, one of them is missing it's nut and bolt but it's right here and so that's what you get. Oh, and they also give you, here's your Wi-Fi antenna. It's got, um, uh, I believe this is RPSMA. Um, yeah, RPSMA because it doesn't have, yeah. And then we got uh, the top plate, which goes on. So she's fully enclosed. Not much to it. They also give you a full kg of, uh, let's see what color is in this one. I know the one I opened in the shop. I'm just going to put the GoPro down for a second. I know the one I opened in the shop pink so this one they give you looks like red i would have preferred the pink one but whatever i'll take the red too it's a full roll of pla all right so that's what comes inside the box guys pretty uh straightforward i mean there's not much to the assembly i'll, I'll show you guys how to do it though pretty friggin simple all right guys so this part is one of the steps you're going to want to bring all this out because this is going to drive your stepper motor this is going to drive, I don't know, one's for your, your fan and one's for um, the filament runout sensor. This is your filament runout sensor and this is your fan. It's obviously power negative and you need a signal wire with the filament runout sensor so it can tell the board what's going on. So these we want to get out and through here. So I'm going to put the fan, this one was the pain in the ass when I did it in the store. Um, 
with the stores printer. It was a pain in the ass to get this one through. Oh, there we go. I got it easier here today. So we'll slide those through. And that's that for your step one. That's what I would classify as step one. And we're going to go on to step two. I'm going to have to set up the camera a different way and try and turn the printer. All right, guys. So this next step, sorry about the where I've got the film. It is what it is. But uh, I figured I'd help everybody out with this. This is what I like to do for the next step. Take... Um, your extruder here. Actually, let's bring the tool kit over because we might as well use the tools provided. I'll make my little makeshift workbench here. Um, so, it's only a couple tools to put this thing together, guys. It's really easy. Um, so, you just got these T nuts here. So, I'm trying to look at my GoPro on my phone while I'm doing it. You got these T-nuts here, okay? Pretty straightforward, simple. Just, I like to loosen them off a bit, okay? That way you can get them to be in the right position. And it's simple, one goes sliding down here, one goes in here, and one goes sliding down in here. And your extruder sits like this, the tube's gonna come out through here and come in, your filament runout sensor is gonna sit on the other side here. So we'll just get that bad boy in, get her in place, try and get that to turn a little, oh, I got the wrong freaking hex wrench, idiot. <laughs> All right, yeah, it looks like she's grabbing properly. Let's take a, oh yeah, perfect, perfectly 90 in there. Just always make sure you loosen those T-nuts off enough that you can... You can get it to, there we go, you can get it to turn so it actually grabs when it's, it's not just pinching a little bit. You really want that on there good. Okay. So, there's your, that's the next step, done, simple. Simple, then all we do is we take our stepper motor, cable, make sure you got it in the right way, plug her in. That's, uh, the next step. Now, from here, since we're still in the back, we might as well put the fan on. We might as well get the fan on. So here's the next step. We got the fan, okay? You get your bags of four bolts it comes with, okay? What I do is I just take, put two in the top first because it seems to grab better there, like it's threading into something rather than just the wood. And it's actually threading into the plastic, so those take the smaller hex wrench, the 2.5, I believe it is. I'm just using the tools that came with it. Normally I'd use my own hex wrenches, but just for the purpose of this video. There's one. So we'll thread them in the top end first. This is your top. Your Bowden tube actually comes through this hole. So next step, we just thread these bad boys into here, into the provided slots. Oh, I should have just used my wrenches. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Well, at least they give you the tools if you're, you know, you don't have a bunch of tools kicking around to do this yourself. I thread in the top too. It's nice to have a filtered fan. I can print other materials. I'm not really into printing normally now that i'm at 3d printing canada full time 
I might as well utilize the knowledge I'm getting there and uh, learn a little bit more about everything. Firmwares too. Try and help you guys with new print videos and stuff. New products coming into the store. Whatever it may be. I love to help people out. Get their stuff working good. So that there you go. You get the two in. You're, you're up there. You're secure. And I do the two bottom ones. Which is another simple step. Just feel like grabbing my 2.5. Just doing it. But whatever. There we go. There's one. There's one. And. Alright, guys. We're back here. Now that we got our stepper motor hooked in two t-nuts one and two simple stepper motor plugs in we've got our fan installed one two it comes with four bolts okay from there you just take plug your fan in to the blue one so i'll do that here and she's plugged in next simple step make sure you do this the right way filament sensors come with Filament sensors come with, let's do this again because I can just edit. All right, so we got to make sure that we put our filament sensor in. It has an arrow. So if your filament's coming in this way, you want it to follow the arrow, obviously, into the tube. And you just plug your filament sensor in like so. Bang, bang, boom. That's done. All right, next step. This next step is pretty simple. Um, I'm assuming you guys can see. You just take and put your handles on the side. And that's again, just drop them in. Again, make sure you got enough room for the T nuts to grab. I let them just barely hang on that way. Dusty. Little, uh, cover here that way you can line up your handle nicely okay. so now it's pretty simple things um, all you gotta do is take your Bowden tube run it through this hole in the back and this is an awkward video. I'll try and set it up better in the future. Um, get your Bowden tube out. And take the C clip out of the extruder. And it's a bone tech, so easy to fix. Well, it's a clone bone tech, I guess, or or same idea i don't know but it looks like a bond tech to me so sorry if i'm offending anybody but you know then you get your run out sensor just always make sure it's facing the right way and your power cord and your spool holder is right here in the back so if you're checking out the back of the printer right now right there you go all right there's your power button and uh your plug gonna be a pain in the butt for me I'm gonna have to move my octoprint camera around and figure some stuff out but I'll work it out one way or another that octoprint camera will come to the front you can plug in your printer here to octoprint and you got here for your spool holder right there all right guys just want to throw a few more things at you um, do not forget these are shipping clips they have to be there's absolutely no reason you can't really see when you cut the tie wraps if that's what they're hooked to but i'm almost 100 percent positive that these t-nut hook things aren't supposed to be in here so i would take them out i just have a feeling it could fuck up your printer so they don't seem to be holding anything in place now so let's just take those out be on the safe side 
It's Prince FPV back at you again. Um, this will be the end of the video. Formbot. Trodon. First print is almost done. Obviously, um, me being somebody who pretty much only prints in TPU. I'm printing a TPU XYZ cube. We'll see how she turns out. Looks good from in here. Looks really good. Anyways, Prince FPV out. Don't forget, you can pick these up at 3D Printing Canada. I'll leave a link in the description. Don't forget, guys, when you get a printer from 3D Printing Canada, you also get the support from the staff and the techs at 3D Printing Canada. So, you know, you can go ahead and order one of these from China, but you're never going to get the support you'll get from 3D Printing Canada. So come on down and see us. Ask for PJ. I'll get you set up, guys. If not, you can order one online. You still get all that tech support, too. And there you have it, guys. A Trudon. Formbot. Or Vivindino. I don't know how frig you say it, but... It was... They were Formbot. There you have it. Printing away like a champ. I don't know where I'm going to mount my cam. And the cam there, we'll figure it out, but... There she is, printing in her glory. No head tuning even needed. Look at that, I had it at 220. Look at it hold its temp. I mean, it's lovely. I'm sure it'll change a bit when I open the door. But yeah, by one number. I'm doing a GoPro mount as a second test. Um, did actually a third test, because I did a second XYZ cube to fix a few things. Uh, it looks like it's going fucking lovely. I am definitely happy with the way she prints. Once that door is closed, you don't even hear the jerking of the pulleys. All you hear is uh, the fans a little bit for being enclosed. It's actually really nice. That temp still, still doing really good. Oh, I can't wait to play with it some more, but let's see how this print comes out and uh, we'll take it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. Come down to 3D Printing Canada, see us. Uh, you know, we uh, get everything you need for your printing needs. Really good techs in there that know their stuff, their firmware, everything. So, uh, plus the staff, are, they're amazing. They're amazing. So, come on in and see us. Uh, hope to see you down there.